some people start wavering, they become too high. So it's just a matter of, you know, I'm ready to grab them if they start weaving. <laughs> so, but we, it is possible. Some people will pass out from the energy. Then it's not used to it. So you renew this daily? No, no. Once you, you've got done, you just do your daily maintenance. And that can be done through prayer, okay? Prayer that you ask that all your energy points are open and that your body is connected to the earth and connected to the universe. And that's that simple. In fact, they're in the farm papers now, they're making shoes with copper wires in the bottom that run through the soles and lay on the bottom. So when you're, even if you're not walking in bare feet, if you're walking on grass with these shoes on, you're, you're getting the earth energy coming out. This is a new concept called earthing. Yeah. Basically, what it's saying is that a lot of our problems are based on the fact that we don't have contact with the planet anymore. You're right. And yeah. that, you know, for you know a long time, people walk around barefoot on the planet. The planet yeah. itself, because it's like electromagnetic, yeah. you know, alkalizes the body naturally. Yeah. Yeah. If you spend 30 minutes barefoot every day, it's going to give you health benefits like you wouldn't believe. But you have ways that this company sort of developed where you can use grounding rods and you, you know, you put outside of your house and connect with various things inside your house, like your bed, yeah, your bed yeah, sheets, yeah. and the same thing with your shoes, and uh, even inside your car, you can protect yourself from the yeah. Yeah, problems no. you get while you're driving. I mean, it's, pretty, it's as simple a concept as you can imagine, but at the same time, when you start to read about it, it makes so much sense, it's ridiculous. Simple things are always the best things. Yeah. We make everything too complicated. Can you balance the person who is in the present or yeah, I, I do that. Um, we have, I get emails. Con I, one woman a few weeks ago sent me 36 people she wanted me to check out. <laughs> so, you know, I, I said in my office, uh, so you have to be in total silence because you're so focused. And, it, you know, I, I got to the point where I leave my body and it's scary because we were looking for a farm one day on a road. I wasn't driving. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and the guy said, have we, gone, have we there yet? I said, and actually, when he, we, we, he told me, we looked, looked I, I, was stand, I, was, I went and looked out in my backyard. I was standing in my backyard doing something out in the backyard. I never saw the farm at all. We drove, just drove right by it. And I've done this in Alberta where I'm driving from Lethbridge to St. Paul, and I've gone through communities. I never see them. Where are they gone, you know? So, it, but for some unknown the reason, you, your, your body, your physical body, keeps control of the vehicle, keeps good things in place. Okay? Yeah. I'll sodium carbonate spraying it on the plants. Is that something we can also do? Yeah, it's, you know, if anybody has any acid indigestion, you just put a teaspoon of bicarb in a glass of water, and it's gone. It, it alkalizes your body, you know, and, and sometimes, actually there is a, there was a guy in England, a doctor that, um, he took 70 patients that had incurable cancer, and he, he made them drink sodium bicarb in water, and they all recovered. So a teaspoon or half a teaspoon? Hmm? Teaspoon or half a teaspoon? Well, depending on your body size, like a half a teaspoon would probably be adequate for most people. Because for somebody else also would mix in sodium bicarbonate and make a syrup. Yeah. For, for, for alkaline living. Yeah. Or put yeah. in your bath. Sure. Cup of the bath. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Is there a difference? Because I know there's the box soda. That's and then I have a big bag that I used to put in my salt water pool. Right. Is that the same? Same thing. It's the same. It's, cow, it's called Cow Brand, or it's made by one company. It's the same bicarb that you put in bread. Um, we use it in animal feed. It's what we call a buffer to, to buffer the acidity in the animal's stomachs. It's the same product. It's all coming from the same source. I didn't know because I moved. I don't have the pool anymore, but I have a big bag of <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yeah. People being so acidic, which causes health issues, we, we 
good preventative to take a bit every so often? Uh, sodium bicarb to try and make yourself. I would, top? if you're going to do it, I would buy some test strips yeah. <laughs> because yeah. you want to run in that yeah. 6.8 to 7.2 range. Um, because there are some functions in the body, if you go too alkaline too long, you produce kidney stones. You don't want that. You need to have a little bit of acid just to keep the body in balance. You know, again, it's balance. It's, if you go over the edge, you create problems, and if you go the other way, you create problems. I'm going to ask about water. The importance, or I know it's a vague, very vague subject, but water, is there a great importance to helping with the energies? Does it, is, can it be used in any way with what you're trying to yeah, do? Yeah, you, you can put the plate under the water. The key to water, um, I know the purple plate removes toxins from the water. Um, and I think the gold plate would too. But the key is to change the molecular structure of the water to make the water molecules smaller. It's called surface tension. That enables your body to transport nutrients to the cells and the waste away from the cells. The problem with most people today is that dry, the brains are dry at the cellular level. Brains don't even have enough water in them. So, and the key, again, is you get up in the morning, the first thing you put in your body is an eight to 10 ounce glass of water and you do the same thing before each meal and before you go to bed. You hydrate your body. And then your body can, everything in your body is electrical. It's firing little signals back and forth all the time. And water helps to carry those signals. But uh, doesn't the water then be digested enzymes if you take it What's that? Does not the water dilute the digested enzymes if you take it no, I think if you've gone through the night, your body will take a whole glass of water before you will just sucked right into your cells. Okay, and what do we need to think about as far as making the water bioavailable to get in through the cell wall? There's so many different kinds of water. I know, and this is the problem. If, if Would not distilled be the the best water because it's, it's mimicking is, what the earth does to the water? It's not ideal. It's it not has ideal. no minerals in it, but right. the city water is not ideal no. either. <laughs> no. So you really need, you can buy filters. You can use city water if you put it through filters. And there are many good filters out there to, to filter water. Um, and some of them have magnets on it. And that actually, well, the one you have here. Yeah, they, uh, they, uh, they increase the magnetism again, you see. Um, in, on the back of one of the Sedona journals, there's a new group of uh, people in South America who have come into a group and channeled information, come up with a, a new water thing that's not on the market yet. But when you read the bio on it, it's supposed to help to raise the spiritual consciousness. Yeah. I don't know if you've heard of it, NA. Y-E-L is the company of the group. Yeah. And if you were going to check it out, how exactly would you use your thinking abilities to check out Very simple. the information? You take a pendulum and you dial as your general vitality. The, vi and you, the general vitality is a the level of energy in your body, okay? Then you drink the water and then immediately Dials your energy again. If it's gone down, it's not good for you. If it's gone up, it's good for you. But if you don't have the technology yet, and you want to simply test the validity of the information, you can do that with your pendulum. You can sit down and you can say, "Ask, is this water going to be beneficial to me?" And it's important you get the questions. And any time you're dowsing, it's important to get a clear <coughs> question. You never ask, "Will this help me?" Because that's not, you know, you want to know, is this going to be beneficial to me? Okay? The power of prayer is very, very effective with changing the crystalline structure of water as it, well. Exactly, Dr. Moto proved that. Yeah. 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 Okay, I think we're running.
unless you guys want to keep on going. I, I'm not in charge here. Maybe a couple more questions. Hey? A couple more questions. Yeah. 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 Brain control. That's the other thing, you see. Genetically modified brains have uh, neurotoxin in them, and now it's causing high levels of abortions in cattle and pigs. And I was talking to a feed salesman the other day, and he has no conventional brains available anymore. So I think that as we're looking at anything with brains, um, I'm going back to corn oil uh, on your salads or, or soybean oil on your salads. You need to do this because you can have modified frequencies of brains in it. Only one person can watch out for your health. to write it. I try to take them and I, uh, and I just get nowhere. There's a, a number of people who often to write the book. But, you know, my stories, they go on forever. So, so some people are learning from you, are right? Well, I, this is why we put these meetings on, to help people open their minds and become more aware of what's going on around them. Is that it? I think we should have on a pause for Peter. Thank you. Woo!